Welcome to another buy, bar, and pass gas. Okay. Did I do it right? No. No, no we're not a crude show. Well, I was next to your butt the entire time. Just say time. pass. The show is buy, bar, pass. We never. I had gas better. on the brain. Let's run it back. All right, folks. Buy, bar, or pass. It's our rating system. It's really simple. Buy, you should buy the bottle. Bar, try it first. Have it at a bar, see if a friend will let you try it. Or pass, don't waste your time or your money going for this one. So what do we got today, Will? So I was down at the beach and I walked mm. into a liquor store and mm -hmm. I found something on the shelf I'd not seen in person. And we also haven't had a chance to try yet. Mm. Was it a wise decision? We will find out, Grease. It's a brown bag. The wise man bourbon. Yeah, so it's got a very fancy label. It looks like like the Harvard seal up here, maybe. There's an owl. There's the 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 three pyramids that maybe at Kentucky mm. Owl Park. Right. It says the wise man American Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, as opposed to non-American Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, because you know it's America's native spirit. Right. Whatever. Guided by wisdom and crafted. With knowledge. Are you uh, into masonry? If you're looking for the Declaration of Independence in Egypt, this bottle will tell you how to get there. The Egyptian Declaration of Independence or the American? I, I feel wrote. like the fake one is here and the real one is somewhere else. All right, so this says, it says, indulge in the capital W wisdom and lowercase k knowledge of fine capital B bourbon. Right. It's a lot of artwork going on. We're going to crack it open and see what it's like. This is... Um, All right, if you had to pick a tattoo on here, like like lower back tattoo, where are you going? I'm going to go for that book the for you. The book's pretty... No oh, for me? I for thought you were saying for you. Why would I put a book on my you're lower get, back? You're getting the three pyramids. Mm -hmm. Clearly, that's up to you. I sure am. Um, so this is not a product that Dixon was a part of. This is one of their first releases. Right. Post Dixon Deadman I heard era. this is bottom of the barrel course line. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a nice, it's got a nice cool. That, that was a funny call. Was, <laughs> if you're, if you know the podcast at all, but that's a very funny callback. Right. That has nothing to do with the whiskey in front of us. We've never tasted it. But that's you literally very, just said funny. like two seconds ago, you're not good at callbacks. And I freaking crushed that callback. Well, it, you are um, a spaghetti at the wall kind of fella. You yeah. just keep throwing it up there. Yeah, but all when right. I, when I stick though. Banana nose. I like the nose. <laughs> you all <laughs> Uh, this um, paint dissolves in the whiskey, so you, I hope it's not lead-based. Um, this nose, it smells like Barton distillate to me. Mm -hmm. uh, very familiar. Uh, I know that there, I, I don't know for a fact. I have heard that there has been some Barton sourced barrels. That's a place you can source from. Like, yeah, yeah. It, that's not like a big secret that there have been some sourced Barton barrels in other Kentucky Owl releases. Yeah. It's not all of it that's in it. There's stuff sourced from all over the place, but um, so it does not, it would not surprise me if there was a good amount of Barton in this because of the way it smells. Also the price point tells me that they were able to acquire some relatively affordable uh, bottles to put in here. There's no age statement and it is straight bourbon. Um, I'm going to believe the facts that it, it's going to be over four years based off labeling laws. However, right. based also on some of the wording, like American bourbon, you can't always trust everything you see on the label. <laughs> right. Because Proof first, it's uh, 90.8. Why the point eight? Probably because when they proofed it, that's what it came out to. Right. What do you think about it? You need to know the price point? Yes. 50 bucks. It's probably a buy for me. Yeah. I want to make a cocktail with it. Fresh crack. Um, it, ta it tastes pretty good. It's not a bad whiskey. Yeah. It's definitely, it's unique. It's good. It's not bad. Yeah. It's, but, I mean, it's definitely not bad, but it's also, it's not blowing my mind. Yeah. Obviously we were having a lot of fun with the label. It, it's I mean, very over the top looking. 90 um, proof four-year-old whiskey would probably better deserve a 30 to $40 price point. If I'm being honest, 50 seems high. 
I'm leaning bar, but I'm gonna say a buy. The finish is very short to me. I'm very, I'm very impressed by this. Very, very much a sweet tea note in I, the in the in the body of the whiskey. I, I get a lot of sweet tea. Based on the notes of this, hmm. I think you're spot on with Barton. Yeah, yeah. There's a and, lot of Barton and we've stuff. We've known you get, Dixon has gotten Barton before. You you get that kind blends. of banana note that's not the same banana note as like ground foreman and there's a difference to it but there's a hint of it in the uh barton stuff that i get and banana note it's banana note banana note banana note read a press release that they put out and they did say there was a collaboration with Bardstown Bourbon Company. This is a blend of high rye and wheat yeah, mash bills. Wheat. They got wheater in that. There's four year, five and a half year, and eight and a half year uh, bourbon in it. And it did say five and a half year and eight and a half year sourced. I'm guessing that's the Barton stuff that I'm tasting. Yep. And then the four year old whiskey that in they- In collaboration with, with Bardstown Barton. Bourbon Company. I think it's I think it's a pretty good one. I, I bet you're gonna find it fifty to sixty dollars, like that kind of range, yeah. based off your local market. The palette is is good and has some layers to it. The finish for me is is pretty quick, pretty short. Um, what would you equate? What would you equate this pour to for people out there that might be like, oh, I love Buffalo Trace. Oh, I love Jim hmm. Beam White Label. You know, like is this comparable to anything that you would, you know? Say that, yeah. Well, people I mean, can relate to, and I think that's just because I'm thinking of the. Uh, you know what I'm going to say? The Barton line. I'm thinking 1792 small batch. I'm saying Jack Daniel's single barrel. Okay, there's nothing outstanding from it, but I have a feeling it's every bottle you're going to get is going to be very much on the same yeah playing field. Um, Fifty to sixty bucks. I'm, I'm pro. I don't know. Like I said, I've, I've, I, I'm a buy. You're a buy. I'm, I'm leaning bar. Probably a bar, just because I think there's probably a little bit of internal bias going mm. on. Uh, I was fully expecting to not like it. I don't have an aversion to it. I think it's it's pretty decent. I think it'd make a really good old fashioned. Uh, it's it's not yeah. super complex for the six. If it's fifty to sixty dollars, I want a little bit more out of it. But I do think that. Um, it's not bad. Yeah. And I think that people will enjoy it. I would okay. prefer if it were 45 bucks. You know, I wish it was a little bit lower. Um, I would say buy then. But I think at it, it 50 to 60 bucks, you're probably going to, it's going to probably do well. Yeah. Um, but I would, I'm not going to go full on buy with it. I'm actually excited that Kentucky Owl has a product that everybody could probably afford and get. Sure, sure. I think that that, here's the other question I'm going to have going forward is consistency. Consistency going forward. If they can match this profile in this price point and that, like, then it could probably grow into a buy for me. Mm -hmm. Or I could see me recommending it to people to try if it gets in more markets. I yeah. haven't seen it in ours yet. But as of right now, though I have a lot of lingering questions about what this will end up being that makes me a bar. And you're uh, saying the integrity of this, if you fast forward 10 years from now and the integrity is very similar to this bottle, you think it's gonna be successful. I agree. And it takes, I mean, it you gotta you gotta be consistent. Right. right. That's why master distillers are so you know, I mean, they're, they're they're great at what they do. Right. It's because it's it's not necessarily that they decided to throw a weird mash bill in five barrels twenty years ago and it and it turns out amazing. That's not why they're amazing. Right. They're amazing at keeping products consistent and well balanced, and you know you you know in the single barrels having a unique flavor to them, because we can try a ton of Eagle Rare barrels and they'll taste very different. But every freaking time you get just the regular Eagle Rare ten year, it's just spot on. It's right. like that's Eagle Rare, and that that takes talent. Yeah, absolutely. All right, folks, thanks for watching another Buy Bar Pass episode. Grease is a buy on this. I'm a bar. If you want to subscribe, go ahead and do that. Give us a thumbs up. We'd appreciate it. Support us on Patreon at Patreon.com/slash The Podcast and. That's I'll do it. do it. Don't do it. It's going to do it. You were going to do it. I was going to, you but were, it's going to do it. You were going to say we don't.